this video, I put two champions against five plats to see how much better champions are over the lower ranks. Who do you guys think is going to win? Let me know down in the comments. Why are you still playing that laptop, bro? I can't afford a new PC. Have you checked out Apex Gaming PCs? No, I haven't. What's that? They're these like really affordable computers that you could pick up. They're really good for like console players who are trying to get into PC gaming or for like people who like yourself who have a laptop or something and want to upgrade for like an affordable price. Let me check it out. Yeah, you can use my link. You could also use code shock to get up to $250 off if you're interested. Alrighty, round number one of five plats versus two champs is underway here. Let me introduce you guys to the players on the plat team. We have Halo, Waffler, Goth, Mike, and Glizzy. And for our two champ players, we have Returns and Reinforce. So we're going to see how they fare in this matchup here goth very quickly entering in through armor right now making a very aggressive push onto the trophy room right now and i'm not sure that returns knows this just yet but reinforce is leaving him all on his own on the bombs right now so they got to be a little bit careful about how they plan to play this out right now c4 out from returns but that's going to miss not even a little bit of damage onto any of the attackers the wall is going to get open now as mike's gonna be able to open that up and goth deciding just to walk into sight he's gonna be taken out so that's the first kill for reinforce onto the plat players here hey lol on low hp but waffler going to kill him up with that finca boost mike trying to drone open the breach now they're just trying to gather as much information as they can right now reinforce playing over by the big window still returns Going for a swing. That's actually a team kill from Waffler onto Hey Lol. So there goes your Iana player right now. Glizzy going to try to walk into the site right now, but returns going to kill him. Reinforced with another kill onto Mike. There goes your ace. It's all up to Waffler just like that. Returns and reinforce still doing fairly good in terms of HP. So this could be an easy round here for the two champ players. Waffler going to heal himself back up, but reinforce going to very swiftly put him back down to low HP now. Returns. Getting a little bit of aggressive, trying to push it through Trophy into Master right now. Waffler doesn't seem to know it just yet. Flicks over, but at the same time, Reinforce is going to swing from the Breach, and the champs actually take round number one. All right, here we go with round number two, and our two champ players with winning the top floor are going to head downstairs into the basement now. Returns going to meet Glizzy, and Returns is going to win that gunfight. That is a very quick kill for Returns and the champ team here. Halo trying to push in right now, but he's going to run into Returns, who's close on the tarp doorway right now. And Re Halo is going to try to do what he can, but it's not going to matter because Returns, two more big kills, even a wall bang, actually. Waffler trying to recover, pushing in through Bunker right now. Goth actually, uh, Waffler actually going to get the kill onto Returns, but Goth is actually pushing in from Freezer right now. And I'm not sure that Re Re Reinforce knows this. He doesn't, but the swing from Goth... He's going to miss all of his shots and Reinforce is able to get that kill. So it's a 1v1 now. Reinforce versus Waffler. Waffler definitely has the HP advantage. Waffler also has the time advantage. Minute and 45 seconds left on the clock. He has plenty of time to make a move here. Reinforce with a swing in the hallway though. He's on low HP and he's swinging an AK. Waffler is going to win that round number two. Going to the plat players. Just barely though. Taking a look at the scoreboard really quickly, just to give you guys an update. Waffler currently two and one for the plat team. The only player on the plat team that has gotten any kills so far. So he's the only reason that the champs have lost a single round. Returns with four kills and reinforced with four kills himself. So the champ player is playing pretty consistent amongst each other. Plat players, not so much. All right, so we see returns in small tower right now. We also, we also see Hey Lol just outside of small tower. It looks like returns running outside that could have been a kill for hey lol but he's gonna go ahead and push in through the window here in z hall and goth is in sight he rushed bunker with lion shotgun and was able to kill reverse within seconds and that's gonna be mike in sight with the osa so this is not a good start for the champ players whatsoever waffle is planning and glizzy able to get the last kill on two returns what a swift round there by the plat players able to just take the bomb site and plant well played by them Um, so I should have just missed it, but apparently Hey Lul is dead. I was AFK, and it seems like Hey Lul has died. And I'm not sure exactly how that has even happened. I'm sure you guys will, as you saw their POV, but I am in the dark about that. But meanwhile, returns very quickly in the in the building right now. Reinforced not so much. He's all the way in construction spawn right now, but re returns 
Meanwhile, is creeping up the white stairs. Now, this could be devastating for the defenders right now. As no one is really watching this whatsoever. And Return still just creeping up the stairs. Slowly but surely. We do see Waffler inside of Kid's dorms. And we do have Mike as well as Goth right next to him. But so far, Return's able to just sit on top of White Stairs and wait. And that's what exactly what he's going to do. That's a kill on a Goth. So there goes the Warden player. Taking a look at where Reinforce is. He's rotated over to Big Window to try to help his teammate. Looks like Waffler is going to be trying to quick peek onto the window, but wouldn't recommend it if I were him. Glizzy going to get a kill onto Returns and re Reinforce going to quickly refrag and get the kill onto Mike. So there goes your Frost player now. Glizzy is down below right now, prone, trying to throw a C4 through the white window, but that's definitely going to miss. Reinforce able to get by with all of his HP. Wall bank coming out from Reinforce, but it's going to miss as that is a concrete wall. Quick peek battle coming out, but no one is going to win it just yet. Reinforce going to smartly rotate off as that's not a gunfight that he's likely to win. Glizzy going to run out and then hop straight back in through the white stairs. Waffler just sitting on site waiting, holding an angle as he should be. Reinforce calling to make sure the initial vicinity is clear. And he's going to push it off that now. One minute remaining. He should have one more call. Two EMPs and a drone. So he could definitely win this. No c4 on glizzy but there is a c4 here on waffler reinforced now trying to creep up through the white stairs and honestly it doesn't look like glizzy or waffler knows about it both of them are looking towards the trophy door even an emp grenade coming out and they still have no idea but finally glizzy gonna 180 get the pre-fire headshot on to reinforce and that's gonna be the uh third round for the hot team all right so it is a match point three to one the champs are losing and they are losing quite bad right now and a problem i'm seeing is they're not really playing together that well reinforce is going to be pushing up through front door into main lobby right now but returns is all the way inside a bunker right now and i'm not sure that bunker is the best take for them as they don't have the utility to clear this the twitch drone's not going to get into that mirror window as there are jammers everywhere and they're not going to have any sort of nades or utility to clear the bunker shield so i'm not sure if a bunker take is going to be the best option for them but nonetheless reinforce is going to do his best to try to get that mirror window i'm not sure if it's going to work though as i said those mozzie pests and the mute chamber is going to stop him from even getting his drone in through the double door right now so the champ players are basically at a standstill just trying to hope that glizzy on the mirror here over peaks and that returns is able to kill him reinforce understanding that this is a lost cause going to rotate back towards the garage now and returns might be trying to do the same i'm not quite sure what he's doing yet smoke grenades are going to come out from hey lol reinforce pushing down the main stairs right now i think that returns could be acting as a distraction for reinforce to walk down the main stairs right now but there's gonna be a barricade on that and the defenders are most certainly going to know about that waffler pushing up right now mike actually pushing all the way up with the shotgun but he's gonna die reinforce just out aiming him there returns with a kill of his own actually onto glizzy who is that mira who was peeking from before god's gonna take his place but he's one hp so he can't afford to over peek like glizzy did take a look at waffler he is currently holding an angle onto reinforce he's getting flanked as well from hey lol with a shotgun he's gonna get downed that is reinforced going down so it's all up to returns now in the 1v3 this is very winnable for him goth is only one hp right now one minute remaining so it is entirely possible halo or returns going to rotate to try to catch halo rotating oh if he didn't pre-fire there he actually might have gotten the kill but it won't matter goth on one hp gonna take returns out and that's gonna be a 4-1 victory for the plats here on map one all right ladies and gentlemen we are here on map number two coastline and we are going to see if our two champ players fare any better here on coast possibly it was just the map we do see that sometimes the map is a big factor in whether or not a team is able to win so we'll see if the map changes anything here but returns in a risky spot right now to say the least as we have mike all the way inside a kitchen as well as goth running up the cool vibe stairs right now i'm a little bit worried that mike is going to be able to get the kill here on the returns but no returns in a rat spot going to get that first kill onto mike and reinforce swiftly getting another kill onto goth so there goes the ash and the jackal duo who is rushing in from below waffler trying to potentially refrag onto returns but he is on the other side of the map right now lizzie pushing in through luggage right now and returns holding a c4 he hears that there's someone in luggage and he's going to pre-place that c4 into luggage but he's not going to get anything with it just yet now a lol gonna rotate down into the aqua balk to try to assist his teammate glizzy 
and waffler rotating there as well so we're probably going to see some sort of an aqua tick maybe uh, a penthouse take i'm not really sure what the plan just yet is but reinforce is going to be ready for it he is doing some pre-fires through the wall right now returns with a big flank of his own onto glizzy that's your nomad going down so it's all up to waffler and hey lol on the finca and the sledge returns still trying to flank up through cool vibes right now no one is in his immediate vicinity but he's got to be careful because waffler was holding the long angle but reinforce going to get that easy kill onto hey lol who tried pushing into the bomb site solo waffler rotating back into billis try to stop the flank from returns leaving his teammate vulnerable to be killed now reinforce gonna try to push up through aqua right now so the two champ players are just pinching the plat player who's stuck inside of billers right now nade's gonna come out from waffler but will it be enough returns pushing up to the door it looks like the grenade actually missed a swing from returns here a lot of damage and there's the kill flawless round from the champ players that's what we like to see Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen here we are in round number two and mike trying something new with the montane we'll see if that ends up working for them or not waffler sticking with that no could be so this could be an annoying round for the two champ players here returns actually going to pick up the cav which is interesting i think the cav could work out pretty well last round if he was able to interrogate that jackal that he killed that would have been huge for the two champ players here Ooh, with that being said, Mike trying to pre-fire through the blue bar or sunrise window there. Returns, not taking any damage himself, but uh, that means they're probably going to know that Returns is on this Cavera downstairs. So they're going to have to be a little bit careful about how they choose to push this. Waffler, the worst type of coastline player, sitting on the ruins, just waiting for something to happen right now. A little trying to push in through the aqua bout, air jabbing the luggage flank so we could potentially see some sort of an aqua take as that's where the flank watch is being placed so far goth pushed up all the way into vip along with glizzy right now that montane solo pushing or not solo pushing i apologize pushing in through vip right now but reinforce a nice kill onto hey lol that's gonna be your nomad getting taken out on aqua bout waffler trying to push in through ukador though so reinforce is gonna be have to be careful about how he chooses to peek these angles here returns is just underneath the bomb site but he's not really able to flank anything but he really needs to come back to site and help reinforce because reinforce is struggling but he is still able to get a kill onto waffler that's the dokubi on hookah about going down returns finally entering back towards the bomb site on the cool vibe stairs right now mike pushing in with this montane Sophia just behind him. That's Goth. Glizzy going to be pushing in through aqua right now which could be back because none of the champs are looking in that direction right now Goth going to be swinging returns on the cool vibe stairs, but he's not going to get the shots there, but he will get the shots onto reverse through or returns through the wall. And he's going to be taken down by returns before Glizzy is able to take him out. Round number two going to the champs, but honestly, just narrowly. It was it came down to a 2v2 at the end. Ooh, a spawn kill from returns onto Glizzy. That's going to be your Ash player getting taken down. This is also the champ player's last round here on defense, and they're going to have to defend against Mike on this blitz. Opting to go blitz instead of that Montane this round. We'll see if it makes any sort of a difference. Returns possibly going to run into Mike and Goth, who are pushing in through Service Kitchen right now. Reinforce just right next to them inside of sunrise here the swing's going to come out from reinforce but i'm not sure that he knows that goth is just on the door here he doesn't and that's going to be goth taking out reinforce so it's all up to returns now in the 1v4 a lion a dokubi and a blitz he has to take out it's not looking likely for him but he's going to do his best here here comes the blitz of mike not even any damage onto him returns is going to have to back up if he wants to kill this blitz here the couch is stopping him from being able to move though and mike with the ads going to take him out wow all right here we are a spawn peak coming out from glizzy but he is going to walk away just in time as returns is pushing up from ruins right now now the plots do have the advantage but it's not match point just yet and wow what a run out here by goth trying to uh peek onto reinforce that's an interesting run out you don't normally see people run out and look to the left Returns is going to be sitting on top of the ruins right now, trying to get an angle into the site. He might actually run into Goth right now as we see Mike back on the shields, Z pinging the location of Returns. And wow, Goth with a shot all the way from Billards into ruins there, leaving Reinforce in a 1v5. Is he able to clutch it out? It doesn't look likely, but it is certainly possible. Reinforce is doing what he can to try to get a pick here. He might get a kill onto Goth, who's quick peeking the building or the window here from Billards. I really hope Reinforce does not die to that quick peek. That would be devastating. Waffler and Mike 
pushing all the way outside. Mike has given up on playing nice and fair. He's going to walk straight outside right now and reinforce not even paying attention to him is going to get taken out. Mike on these shields is really putting a thorn to the side of these two champ players here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is once again match point here. Three to one for the plot players. They really need, the champ players really need to win this round. And I would really hate to see Mike or uh, who is this? Glizzy get a shotgun kill on Doc on to reinforce here. That would just be unfortunate to see. We really need to see the champ players push together, I feel like. I feel like if they push together, they're able to isolate the 1v1s like they have here with Glizzy. They'll be able to win these rounds right now. Right now, we see it's reinforce versus Glizzy. But if it was reinforce and returns versus Glizzy, the chances of Glizzy dying here would be pretty high. But look, just as I say that, hey, lol, taking out returns. Everyone's trying to play these 1v1 battles. And it's not working out for them just yet. Reinforce back into a 1v5. Glizzy still trying to peek with that pistol. Going to do a lot of damage on the Reinforce, but not enough to kill him. Reinforce going to take him out now. Mike rotating into office to try to refrag. We actually see Goth outside as Alibi. Reinforce going to take some shots off to him, but Goth going to head back inside now. Hey, Lil setting up some Wamai well, disc inside of office. It's not looking great here for reinforce whatsoever. A minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. So he does have plenty of time to clutch this out, but he is very low HP. One bullet from any of these guns from really any range is going to take him out. So he's got to be very careful about how he chooses to play this. Hey, Lil going to be taken out. That is your Wamai well, gone inside of the office room. Goth on the alibi trying to do his best to swing onto reinforce who's just outside office door right now mike in a very peculiar position prone inside a blue bar behind the bar right now waffler the only player on site so really reinforces a bunch of 1v1s here mike gonna finally rotate back to site but he does have the 1v1 with goth here who's inside of sunrise Goths are going out through the wall but it's not going to hit from either player Goth only has to hit one shot here. Reinforce really needs to hit all of his shots if he chooses to win this round. 45 seconds left on the clock, and not much is happening. Goth really stalling the timeout here as Reinforce has to clear him before he's able to clear the rest of the defenders. But Mike actually the one to get that kill through the feet holes of all things. Great round by the Plat players. And GG's, the Plats are going to take it 2-0.